What's up y'all? It has been a while since I've been out here to this cool little spot out here at this park. Today I'm just hoping that I can catch a few bass. Honestly, like spring is here. Um, it is April just about and the weather just ain't cooperating too well with us. Uh, some of y'all are about to be getting some snowstorms. We're just getting cold weather for Texas. I mean, looked like we were going to be getting 80s and we'd be out in the hundreds real quick, but man, I'm sitting here. It was 40 degrees this morning. It's about 59 degrees right now. I got a light jacket on and uh, I've just got one rod and reel bait caster combo with me today. I've been doing a lot of BFS stuff, but I'm like, hey, let's get back to uh, throwing the other stuff. I love throwing chatter baits in the springtime. Sorry, this is what happens when you go fishing in the middle of cities. But anyways, one of my favorite things to throw in the spring for pre-spawn, spawn, post-spawn, post it's gonna be a chatterbait. So I've got this white chatterbait. I'm gonna tie it onto my bait caster first. We normally have pretty murky water here. So they love that vibration, that bright color, all that. Um, let's go ahead and get it tied on and uh, I'll show you a little bit of what we're fishing today. All right, y'all, we'll just tied on my chatterbait. This is a Z-Man original. Uh, white color and then I've got a pearl white colored happy trailer from Guggen squad or Guggen baits These are kind of new, but they're really good little chatterbait trailers. I love it so far We're gonna be throwing that on the Shimano SLX bait caster paired with my Abu Garcia Veritas tournament edition rod so that's what we're starting with hopefully catch some fish on it but we're gonna just gonna start going around the bank normally i like to walk around start over there and uh haven't fished this spot in a while so i don't really know what to expect but hopefully i can get a few fish okay <laughs> pop down that ledge and yeah water is dirty <laughs> you can barely see a white chatterbait in it but just gonna be throwing it around slow rolling it no idea what the water temperature is but hopefully the fish are active in the even though we've got a little bit of a cold front come through the area right now Whoa. Yes, first throw no way oh yes yes y'all first first throw chunky little bass on the white chatterbait yes it's been a minute since i've gone and done some bass fishing y'all and this one honestly kind of looks pre-spawn it ain't post-spawn i'll tell you that much he hit it several times felt tap 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 didn't know if i had a fish or i was going over some structure but it was a fish indeed first throw trying to figure out if that is a curse or a blessing <laughs> all right bud Thank you so much for being first fish of the day. Adios. Let's go. Okay, um, guys, I didn't know what was gonna be going on when I got out here, but first throw, caught a fish. Um, when it's been good out here, I normally catch, I can catch three or four fish out here. That's, I'd say that's a good day. Um, they do like the chatter baits. Um, I've never really caught anything over three-ish pounds here, so maybe we can get our first big fish out of these ponds. I just like fishing here. It's beautiful, nice little park, got the fountains and all that. Just a fun environment, so I'm really excited that the fish are biting today already. White chatterbait, all right. Normally I like black and blue here, but I had a white one. I kind of like just on hand, so I was like, well, let me try this. I imagine there's gonna be fish right up against these walls today gonna be a big part of the strategy that and don't get hung keep on moving let's find those bass all right we're gonna catch one here because i got a long bank down that way and a long bank down this way good little point to fish from and this whole pond it's just it's a concrete wall around the edge and this time of year i think those fish like to get up and to chase any kind of bait use that wall to their advantage um and this thing gets hot it also is putting off heat in the water so if they are trying to warm up a little bit good place to hang out okay well did not get anything there Shallow and rocky right here. Oh, 
Oh gosh, what a rock. <laughs> Maybe I should not fish this area. Okay. Yeah, it'd probably be better to just move on down. It's definitely uh, <laughs> hadn't been a lot going on since that first fish. I don't want to say it slowed down. The first one could have been a fluke. I think I got bumped one more time, but we're about to finish up the first pond and then we got a whole, we got a bigger second pond. Um, I think we're going to come across a few more bites though if we keep doing the chatter bay, but I'll probably follow all this up with a Texas rig later on, but let's go ahead and move down and keep fishing. Yeah, I hooked that dadgum fountain. Oh, what am I thinking? Man, that's gonna be it for the chatter bait if it's a rope. Yeah. There goes my line. What do we tie on next? I just think that I gotta put on a black and blue chatter bait now. I don't know. I feel like they're gonna be on a bit of a moving bite. Or it's gonna be easier to cover ground and find them, I should say. Alright. I'm gonna do a palmer knot. It's my favorite. Just gonna double it up and do a loop and through and then lure through the hole. Pull it tight. There we go. Black and blue chatterbait. Oh, whoa, forgot about that. Oh, spot in the line. Oh. oh fish. There we go. Woo! On the black and blue. Number two, baby. Number two on the black and blue. Whew! saying earlier black and blue is actually my favorite color for dirty water like this another pound fish Ooh, feisty another pound fish pre-spawn tummy got a uh, mockingbird nest above me i believe making a little noise but another pretty fish out of the chocolatey milk cannot complain man healthy little guys in here it's good to see all right buddy thanks Get back in there. I actually cast it out there towards this big opening here, which obviously if you're fishing here, you probably get excited when you see this. So many different openings to cast, um, but that fish actually wasn't in the opening. I had retrieved it quite a ways from that little pipe, we'll call it, um, and he hit it out in the middle and just got on it. He could have followed it from there. He could have been out in the middle. I don't know, I haven't really got a pattern out here yet, but that is fish number two, and I've got a lot more fishing in me. so. Let's keep it rolling. You know, I've been thinking this feels like a place where I could come back with the micro chatterbait and my BFS stuff and probably do really well. But we're throwing the big boy today, so eh. Whoa. I landed right on a fish. Man, how'd he get away? What the heck? Might have been my first bed fish I come across today. And finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, time to throw in some tunnels. All right, well, even though we could probably catch more fish on the chatterbait, I think I'm gonna go ahead and switch it up to a Texas rig. 
That way I can kind of like really pitch at some of the structure here. Um, see maybe if they like that a little bit better today. You never know, a slow presentation, drops temperatures, muddy water. They could be on beds, I don't know. So we're gonna throw a Texas rig um, at these little pipes here, these culverts, and uh, hopefully we catch a big fish. All right, we're gonna go with a black and blue saw craw. I've always wanted to try these and I got some in a mystery tackle box. So I'm excited to finally put them to the test. I think this should be the right size. Go in there, pull that out, set it up there on the nose. And I like to tech expose my hooks where you completely expose it and then put that tip back in the plastic. So now it's weedless again, but pretty easy to set the hook. Pull all the pinchers apart so you get the action. All right. And I've got this on a 1 4th ounce tungsten bullet weight as well. All right, start. Woo, that flies different than the chatterbait. But I'm just gonna be flipping this up against walls and stuff, hopping it around, dragging it around. There we go, get it by the corner there. So we want. Whee! There is like this lack of anticipation when I'm slowly working this along the wall. And you're just retrieving that chatterbait in, you're like, wait, any second, any second. This is a little different. No, I broke off. Oh. oh, man. Somebody please recommend to me the best type of fluorocarbon line I can use. I don't know, I really don't even know what brand I have on these reels, but I believe I'm using about a 14 pound test. But I've had a lot of break-offs this spring and I'm not okay with it. So let me know what y'all use. Maybe it's my knot, I don't know. All right, let's use the little bridge and cross back over to the side that I like to fish from. I think we can pick up one or two more for sure. There's been too much action that I haven't capitalized on. I think we'll catch something. Ooh. There's fish. There we go. <laughs> there we go. All right. <laughs> well, he wanted it and I didn't break him off. All right. Fish number three. Fish number three. Another little pounder under guy. On the black and blue. Uh saw no yeah saw crawl black and blue saw crawl from 10,000 fish also i just realized my jacket it's actually inside out it's been inside out this whole day nobody told me what the heck but i've caught three fish hey hey i think we can get four or five five is gonna be the goal but uh yeah i got him so excited i didn't break off let's go all right buddy He's chilling. There he goes. Officially, three fish on the bank. So there's actually a little pipe right over here to the right. You can see probably where the ground is raised. It comes up right here. Um, I think that's where that fish hit. And I've always known that there, there's usually some fish over there. Gotta get some action. So first throw down this bank. He got on it. He's wrong with it. Just a little guy though. We gotta find the big boys. It is nice to set the hook and not break off. Um, it was kind of getting in my head a little bit. So now I know I kind of like dialed back on the drag a little bit. I've got sharp hooks. So I know I need to take it a little easier than I have been, but it's hard. You get excited when you get that bite. 